here we are at the Smart Energy Expo 2021 at the One Stop Warehouse. Now we just had a look before over at the HIMO panels from Longi and had a chat with Tim and Tim mentioned storage and so I've got Graham here from SunGrow. So Graham, um, SunGrow have got a new battery. Yes Glenn, uh, we've introduced the new SBR range of batteries which is a high voltage battery. Uh, ah. This is a uh, three module, which is the minimum size, which is 9.6 kilowatt hour. It can be stacked up to eight modules, which is 25.6 kilowatt hour. It has a, its own built-in BMS and circuit breakers on the side, so you don't need any external circuit breakers. IP55 rated, so obviously you don't put it outside in the weather, but under cover, that's okay. It's compatible with our new Battery, uh, the new inverter, the, the high oh, this voltage, is the, the uh, high voltage hybrid, yeah, the oh, three phase right. hybrid or the single phase hybrid inverter, is fully compatible with that. Um, there's no settings involved in it. There's no internal dip switches. You basically just stack it together, put the screws in, connect the cables to the inverter, switch it on, done. Wow, and that easy. It. Yeah. So Simple. did you say 24 kilowatt hours in a stack? 25.6 in a stack of That's, that's uh, ferocious. Stack of so a minimum of three, which yep. is your 9.6. 9.6, yeah. And then up to 25.6 kilowatt yep. hours in the 25. stack. 25.6. Um, connecting to the SunGrow hybrid inverter. Yep. So um, this unit here, in terms of power rating, how much power can you sink or source from this? Uh, full power. Full power? Uh, yeah, full power. The, on the 5 kilowatt, we've got 5 kilowatt output, and on the 10 kilowatt, we have 10 kilowatt output. So it's um, suitable for outdoor as well as indoor? Yes. Great. What's yes, the IP rating on this? Yeah, IP55. 55. Yeah, okay, yeah, so, so you keep it under direct outdoor. sunlight. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. a little bit of rain. That's normal for that. It's a really attractive looking battery, yeah. too. and. It's solid yeah. as. Yeah. There's a cast and it, aluminium. And it's so easy to put together. I can see. Very, you can do it in about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. So each module you can lift individually? Yep. Yeah. Um, if you hold my mic. Oh, it's got handles. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, this is a dummy, but it's normally 3.32 uh, kilograms. 32 kilograms. So it can be lifted and each unit has its own inter in interconnection there. So all you need to do is like that. Oh, and that's it. I'm going to give it to my seven year old. I think they could yeah. do that. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why you would even need a license to do it. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and you've got to do your battery endorsement and uh, yeah, whole, yeah, pay a yeah, whole that, lot of money to someone right. just to be able to stack these like Lego. There's the connectors here, I don't know if you can see that. We've got DC, CAN cable and earth. And so you just connect them onto the inverter here, switch it on, cool. done. So Graham, uh, this is the new high voltage SunGrow hybrid inverter. Yep. Um, and it works with the SunGrow battery? Yes, it also works with the LG Chem and the BYD. Right, so the high voltage, so the HVM, yep. HVS and the Correct. LG Chem 9.8H and the new baby, I just saw it, it's pretty nice. Yes, that, that'll be in a firmware update. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, the 16 that, kilowatt hour unit. Yeah. So I can see from my point of view that we've got a built-in DC isolator, yep. it's lockable, I guess this meets the requirements yep. of Amendment 2 of 5033? Yep, meets so, the requirements. So this is all you'll see on the wall? Yep, this is it. And the beauty of this new one is you don't need to take the cover off. Everything's plug and play in the bottom. Yep. And you basically got the grid, the backup circuits, which is a 20 millisecond changeover, data connections, dongle or Ethernet, and you've got the trackers here with the MC4 connections and the sun clicks for the batteries. So the, the backup's built in now? Yes, it's built in. Yeah. That's so good. So, so good. It's, it's a much neater install. Yep. And it's got a lovely blue LED on the front, which we can't see because it's not powered up. This also comes in a single phase <laughs> now. We've got the new single phase. So this is a three phase unit? Yes. What's the power rating of this one? Uh, this one will be, uh, sorry, five kilowatts. Yep. Uh, this one. So it's full five kilowatts output on the backup as well. Right. Yep. So it comes in three phase and single phase, five kilowatts. Yep. Right. Five kilo Ten kilowatts. And, and it's symmetrical, so five kilowatts of backup. Yep, and right. uh, it can run in pure off-grid mode as well. Yep. So it can run in off-grid. It can also you can also connect uh, a third-party inverter to the backup circuits, and it will be controlled through frequency shift of this inverter because this is grid farming. This can do frequency shift power yep. control. You're kidding? Yep. That's yep. fantastic. Yeah, so it can go full off-grid mode. Wow, I, I'm, I'm amazed because yeah. yeah, that's kind of been the niche of the yeah. old-school off-grid inverter yeah, market. So, right. the, you so know, this is your modern high-voltage, yeah. high high-frequency inverter yeah. doing off-grid. Yeah. 
Wow. And it's so easy to configure. Yep. You just use the iSolar Cloud app on your phone. Yep, I've got and, it on my phone yep, too. Yep. And yep. it'll take probably 30 seconds, one minute to configure. So you have access point mode, so you can talk yep. directly to it. You don't yes. need the customer's Wi-Fi to set it up. Correct, you just go phone to inverter through the Wi-Fi dongle and you commission there and set it up. Then, of course, you go to the customer's Wi-Fi to get it onto the iSolar Cloud, which we recommend for everyone because it allows us uh, back at tech support to be able to log in. If there's any issues, we can log in and have a look at it. Right. And that saves the installer time going out on site. Yeah. Now, talking about the PV side of this inverter, yeah. uh, what's the uh, MPPT arrangement? Okay, there are two MPPTs. Uh, the 5 kilowatt has two inputs and the 10 kilowatt has three inputs. So you can put three strings on the 10 kilowatt. Right. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. gives a lot of yeah. flexibility. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do you know offhand what the maximum DC power is capable of? Okay. Well, we don't rate the maximum DC power. We do have the maximum voltage and current. Uh -huh. Providing you don't exceed those, you won't avoid the warranty. Okay. So simple as that. Just stay within the voltage window. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's it, which is 600 volts. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, it's all about maximum PV these days. Just that's, pump it up. That's right. So yeah. whatever the installer wants to put on it, as long as it's within. The guidelines, the standards, is fine. Right. Yeah, just don't overvolt it. It's a beautiful looking inverter and combined yeah. with the battery, it's just mm. an awesome product. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's an all-in-one solution, so you don't have to go to different manufacturers. No. If there's something wrong, we'll look after everything. I can see and that. we do have the tech support line. We've got uh, two offices, one in Sydney, one in the Philippines, and we've got fully trained staff in both of these that will help you. Cool. Yeah. Good. Thanks, Graham. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Yep.